Hi, Stephen. It's Saturday. Um, thanks for your video. Appreciated it. Um, the Mammoth National Monument looks really cool, and I would love to come out and see that sometime. Um, very neat. Um, as you know, I've spent a lot of time in dry creek beds with my father looking for rocks and things like that. Um, and I've never personally found a dinosaur bone, but I have found lots of fossils and shark's teeth and things like that. And my dad found one. Um, so that's cool. I would have, I would like to come see that sometime. I also really want to go see Dino Dinosaur National Monument in Utah, I think, which is supposed to be really famous. Um, this week was busy. I was catching up from the last two weeks and just had a lot of stuff, um, juggling. Um, so I was really ready for the weekend. The weather here is glorious. Um, fall is definitely on its way in. Um, and it's like, I don't know, 65, 70 in the afternoons. And it's just really nice. I'm a mess because I've been painting and we went for a bike ride and I'm working on my, um, walking stick from way back in the day when we went camping. If you remember that, it's about ready. It, I, I did some more sanding and upgrading and stuff on it. And then I got to wait for wood putty to dry and then I can stain it. And then I'll probably clear coat it. Um, so that's been like, what, three years ago? We ripped that out of the ground. <laughs> Um, but it's going to be pretty cool. I put a quartz crystal in it. It's, it's neat. Anyway, I also finished the locker that I bought and was working on. So lots of clips of that. Um, we took down the pool. I already put that in a video. We still have a crop circle. I'm grilling barbecue chicken. Um, we went and did some yard sales this morning. We put more stuff back up on the wall in the kitchen. It's almost done. I think Sarah's got like two more things to put up and then we'll video it and it'll show you what it looks like blue. Um, this coming week, I'm going fishing with Sarah's dad. Excited about that. Um, I just have to make sure I don't catch a fish bigger than him or I'll be in trouble, so I'm told. Um, so, yeah, um, I haven't read anything. That's not true. I just finished the, the uh, emotional healthy, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality book. Um, I've been going through that real slowly. Um, but regularly. Um, so I just finished that. I'm going to decide look for a new book to read during my devotion time um but it's pretty good i enjoyed it i know ezra i know thank you he's like you know there's a hole in my shirt it's really important that he has to tell me this while i'm filming a video um I've been uh, really enjoying a D and D campaign I'm doing with my brother, brother-in-law, and nephew. Um, they got on the bad side of an illusion mage, and he took out a bounty on them. And he's been sending bounty hunters to take them down. And they just battled one last night, or last last night we played. And he's pretty cool. He had rings that let him shoot things out of his fingers. So you wear a ring on your index finger and a ring on your thumb. When they touch together, it shoots a magic missile out of your index finger. Um, so he's like a gunslinger type, but he fights with finger guns, literally. Um, so they had a lot of fun fighting him. Uh, and we're enjoying that campaign a lot. So let's see. Um, school work a couple projects um fishing this week probably a trip to the board game store next week i got a bunch of stuff to trade in so that's always a highlight um and uh, i gotta get the chicken off the grill so 
Hope you guys are well. Appreciate your video, and I will see you on Tuesday. So, I have wire brushed every surface of this. I've taken the front down to bare metal because I want it to look the best. I've left the paint over here because I think it's going to cover pretty f well. Um, but I'm going to do a paint test and see how it sticks and how it looks. And decide if I need to take more of it down to bare metal or not. So, um, this, this is like really smooth and really nice looking and I think it's going to paint up great. Uh, but we'll see if I'm right. Number 121. It looks a lot better. Um, it's like this hammered type antique pewter, it's called. It really gives it a good finish. Um, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I, it needs to touch up in a couple places. Um, but uh, it looks remarkably better, I think. I'm going to add more shelves. I'm going to have it like five or six shelves in there, I think. Because it, vertically it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. But, uh, yeah. I think it looks great for five bucks. Cool. More to come when I get the shelves attached. So it's all done. The paint is dryish. Shelves are put in. And it's going in the shed. I'll show you where it's going to go once it's in there. So there we go. In the workshop. Or in the shed. Pneumatics. Cleaning stuff. Sanding and grinding. Random things. This whole place needs a lot more organization, but that's a good start. Five bucks.